I wanted to talk to Matthew before the set started. Because I wanted to talk to him about going ages in this match. Okay. okay. Here is the general consensus people have with Cherry. I can put some dirt in the air. Yes. It's yeah. funny. Yeah you, yeah, you can. So here is the general consensus on Joker Snake. Very easy. Is that Joker beats Snake. Yeah. And I think, for the most part, that is true. I think Joker does well against Snake because of it, it's mainly because of Rubble's guarding grenade, and Snake's disadvantage against Arsene is really fucking bad. It just looks like, like when Joker has Arsene, it doesn't look like a strictly positive thing. So that's what I want to get into. How I see this matchup is you cannot afford to trade ever, because okay, Snake is the king of trading. Yeah, Snake obviously. is the king of being ahead. He lost this game. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, I, I agree with that. Because now he's the king of trading. Any hit Merc wants to get on Snake, he's going to do damage back, right? Yeah. And now I want you to imagine trading with Arsene as well against Yeah, Grenade. even worse. That's why I was, I was, I honestly was curious to hear what you had to say about this matchup because I was wondering, I was wondering, like, is it even? Does Joker win? Does Snake win? It could go, it could be anything. I don't know. I think a lot of people, God damn. God damn. I think a lot of people think Joker wins. I, I lean more towards even. And I lean more towards even ever since Joker got nerfed. Because uh -huh. when Joker got nerfed, it, that was the uh, Arsene durability patch. D durability? I'm a leak player, shit. It was the Arsene uh, meter nerf, yeah. which was for every time he got hit, he would lose more meter. And that made having advantage against Snake way more scary, because you would lose, in some situations, you would lose more than you would gain. Yeah. So like you get like your like 18 off a of back air, but you lose half your meter for getting hit by grenade. Uh -huh. And I think that is like a huge part. And I think when Snake has a lead, it's kind of annoying oh my god i think uh, unless he gets this stock like literally like now then we, we gotta just go next yeah it's hard to make a comeback with snake however yeah, yeah i agree I, I agree with that just just go next that's kind of real don't don't let you don't let yourself keep getting frustrated at it now i'm gonna i said all the negatives i will say the positives though about this matchup gun is very good at controlling snake's space and I mean that in the sense that he's very good at blowing up grenades, forcing a different option approach, True. and he can't just sit back and chuck stuff, you know? Yeah. And then he has to also be mindful of your rebels guarding free grenades. Okay. So he's well, this doesn't matter. Now everything I said doesn't matter. The reason I was saying I think Pyramithra might be better here. Mithra has an easier time navigating around grenades with her speed, having a disjoint to hit Snake Specifically with Pyra, not Mithra. I think I think Mithra's a bit awkward. Mithra gets you in, and I think Pyra can keep you zoned around. Yeah. That's how I see it, right? Snake's just so ridiculous up close that I'd be afraid with Mithra a lot of the time. But as Pyra, I'm, I feel like I'm you sitting pretty. Around. I feel like I'm sitting pretty, you know? And I think something that's good is that Mithra's damage output, it's not that it's big in burst, it's that it lasts for a while, right? She gets like really long strings that do like 60. Now yeah. you're getting off those strings that she can convert off with grenade, even though you're trading damage. You're doing a little bit more now, too. She has those, like, Sheik-esque, Roy-esque combos where, like, they drag you to one side of the stage, which is the real advantage. Yeah, but it's not like Falco, where you're, like, almost at kill percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The point is to put you in the corner because the character, I mean, the, their kit is cohesive. They, they are good at keeping you in the corner, so their kit makes you go to the corner. Exactly. Which is why I would think this might... Oh, another thing is, and a big thing that me and Merc will both say about Pyramithra compared to Joker, you're consistent. You're not relying on Arsene for your edge cards. You're not relying on anything. Yeah, he he talks about that a lot. Like, you know, that you can really, you can kill, like, whenever you need to. Yeah, you have more freedom on when to kill. And it, it's working out in this in this match so far. Yeah, Able to actually box around with that Snake. That Pyra up air, dude. I definitely see that, like, Pyra would be decent uh -oh. in a Snake. Oh, wait, no, it's on the ground. I think it's fine. Fell off, yeah. Going for the nair. I agree with that. I think you. I think you should. She should just reset as soon as you saw him go to the plat. Yeah. I feel like a big thing is that you cannot get antsy. You cannot get antsy against Snake when you have a lead. Not because it takes one good hit to get it back. Oh, C4 right there. Down smash up to. Or down smash up to. Down to up smash. He's gonna pull it Yeah, C4. Ooh. Yeah, that's fair. Gonna recover high. Gonna try to catch it. That was needy. And I. I was ballsy. A lot of, a lot of commitment. And he's dead. Okay, but still racking up a lot of yeah, damage yeah, yeah. though. We, we have we have a lead. Oh my god. Oh yeah, side B. That's another big thing. You can just blow up grenades for fun. Yep. Which I think is huge. I think a, a good thing to have against Snake is having a consistent way to deal with grenades. Being able to interrupt his space, making it so he's not comfortable. Uh -huh. Joker does it, and I think Pyro does it. But they're not really. All right, trying to see if he can catch the landing. That landing. And he blew himself up. Okay, we're fine. And I feel like how C minus has to work, like works around this, I'd assume, which is kind of be like, 
Nice. Knowing that you can't really interact with fire, but fire is going to be out most of the time. So I guess forcing as much damage and miss spaces as you can. You yeah. know? Like, not the, he's going for like side beat, now you're forcing his grenade so he's closer. Oh, the sledgehammer situation is terrifying though. Oh, going in, yep. I don't feel like Snake should have a decent time edge guarding uh, Aegis as well. Oh, definitely. I mean, everyone should realistically. It's just a matter of are you practiced? Yeah. Knowing the options to look. Yep. Dash stuck. Okay, I, what I like that C minus is doing that I really wish more people would do against Pyra is uh, pairing her aerials. I think Pyra aerials are kind of telegraphed. I'm a, like stuff like falling up air, falling bear. Now, what are you gonna do off it? I don't know. But I do think it's a little bit easier to parry than some of the moves. And that was a good update. But we see we see uh, Merc struggling a little bit here to actually kill C minus at ledge. He's kind of just letting him ledge hang forever. But the thing is, he gets sent back into the corner just as fast. Yeah, read the air dodge. Now we're even. It's just so, yeah, like Snake just kills you just like that. It's so hard to hold on to your, like, leader. Oh, my gosh. I, I hate, love that side view. I hate seeing him side view like that because it reminds me of a conversation we had. Because he's like, side view is a funny neutral tool. I'm like, I don't see it. And then he started doing it more. I'm like, God damn it, he's not wrong. Yeah, I understand. It, really it's nice. it's good on situations where your opponent's already committing. Oh, he's oh. out. He has a jump. That's so unfortunate. He's so frustrated about that. That's just heartbreaking to see. No signal. <laughs> uh, that's heartbreaking to see. Um, I do think it's doing better, and I think you should stick it. Yeah, yeah. I am. Uh, he knows that. I think <laughs> it is. It, it is genuinely still doable for him at this point. But like, don't be too hopeful. <laughs> I mean, it's. I think they're both playing super well. Obviously, I want to see him win because, like, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not biased at all, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bias. Know. Who's biased? I would. Think so. so the C minus has been playing super well, though. Like a lot of praise to Merc, but a lot of praise to C minus. I like. He's, I like watching C minus play. They're both annoyed. Oh. Wow. Wow. Nah. This is not making it easy for him to want to uh, play. Yeah. Dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. I like my phone to charge. Yeah, this, this, this sucks. It's really unfortunate. Really unlucky situation. Okay, I have like two seconds. Worms. Yeah, this this is no bueno. Brandon on the mic. Brandon on the mic. Mithra. See, I can't tell when it's glitching for us or glitching for them. I uh, when it says no signal, it's glitching. When it's for them, yeah. Super scuff, but going into game three, potentially wrapping up this tournament. Merc on his tournament. Tournament game, not a tournament game, but he's in the corner. There, wow, so much damage. See, mine is just boxing off and insane. Uh, You're dead? Yeah. I, that's, that's so frustrating. I don't think you want to play, also I think you can move this so close. I'm not sure. What did you say? Did you move this off? The mic. Oh, I don't know. Um. This I, is hard. He, I, <laughs> he always hates fighting people where he, he like how he describes is like they're just playing for mistakes. Yeah. And I, I do agree that it's extremely hard to not make mistakes and win versus Snake. It's really fucking difficult. So hard to see what's happening. It sucks because like you can't afford to lose the lead. Because you lose the lead again. Oh. Okay, nice. But it, and it's such a heartbreaking feeling when you literally start the game and lose the lead to some like undescribable mistake that you've never done in your life. Yeah, or just like a weird like situation off stage. That you Good just... wait. So he waited for his spot dodge there and then dared. But he's always looking for that. You know when you know when he with Joker and with Mithra when he dares you, reads your spot dodge, dares you again and grabs you. Yeah. Uh, where am I? Yeah, it's not. I don't know. We're trying to fight. <laughs> trying to fight his way out. 
trying to just like yeah, he's trying to make his own space with side B, but like Snake is fine with being in this situation. He's just like I'm gonna I'm gonna throw myself. Okay. Uh, trying to go for the roll. The I roll like read. the attempt. Oh, he's dead. Oh no, he's not. I thought he had, I thought he was jump. Not quite. Okay. Let's see if there's still hope. Oh, you might be. Oh, oh that was kind of cool. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, makes C minus the winner of Codename Bears 388. We have not been able to stop him yet. Let's see you next week. He's a scary man. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go eat gummy worms. Gummy worms. Okay. Bye. Good. Well, I don't have much to say. Uh, just mention the Arcadian mention people to pre-reg. True. Tomorrow is the the Philly Smash Arcadian, the Summer Arcadian. And we'll have hopefully have everything cleared up by then. Yeah, dude, the technical difficulties are pain. Yeah. How's it going? I know. Yeah, we do have the Philly Smash Arcadian tomorrow. Pop out if you are not a ranked player, I'm trying to get these are our pre-regs. Uh, who's that? Congrats to C minus though for winning Codename Bear or regular Bears. We're not Codename Bears anymore. But now we got our we got the Arcadian tomorrow coming out every Friday. Yeah. Well, that's it for for me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go chill out now. Thank you for watching. I'm Pokey Fancy, and uh, everyone have a good night. I guess. And thank you for watching. Woo!